Hello there fellow gambling enthusiasts and welcome to World of Gambling to this week's gambling review. Warning, this video includes gambling and also might include trace amounts of also gambling. The resources this time include credits so don't buy them because buying credits for real money is very bad value and these booster packs they're not ideal either because boosters are often a great add-on in other bundles but on their own like this not really that great i mean we need to play over a thousand battles to even get the benefit of this bundle so it's more of a chore rather than a reward in the tank section we start off with one of the worst tier 10 premiums in the game i mean there's only three but it's the one to one b even though it does have good dpm and solid penetration it only has six degrees of gun depression it doesn't really have that amazing mobility and the armor isn't really that good either so basically this is one of those vehicles that it does not make any sense spending real money on because you can get the same or better performance in a tech tree counterpart. So just stay away from this vehicle. It is not worth it. Even though it does have a golden camo that looks pretty good. It is not worth 36 euros whatsoever. The Progetto 46 is a good vehicle if you know what you are doing. However, this bundle 24 euros for what is essentially a modified 5.5k gold bundle. 5.5k gold being around 12 to 13 euros. Times 5 XPs are locked to the Progetto. And this vehicle is a good tank if you are knowledgeable at the game however it only has 180 millimeters of standard penetration and it doesn't really have any armor whatsoever so it is a vehicle that is quite difficult to play the bundle it really depends if you want the progetto it can be somewhat worth it but there are certainly better bundles out there the brute force consists of a very good heavy tank in the form of the Kylo, which I can recommend picking up, and the WZ-122TM, which is a abysmal medium tank that you should absolutely stay away from at any cost. It's slow, it doesn't have any DPM, it does have 200mm of penetration at least. It's got 400 alpha damage, which makes it somewhat interesting, only 7 degrees of gun depression but not really that mobile. This is not a tank that you want to have at all. The Kyler is a very solid vehicle. 7.5k is sort of an okay price for it, which I also find quite ironic that this pile of trash costs more than the Kyler. It's not as good as a T482. That's obvious. It works pretty well. It even does have 8 degrees of gun depression. The mobility is pretty poor. However, overall, this is a very good learner premium tank that's somewhat easy to play. It's easy to understand as a lover, doesn't make quite as much creds, but it is a good vehicle to learn the game, so I can recommend the Kyler. Stay away from the WZ, however. What you should also stay away from is the Poodle and the Type 64, because the Poodle, well, it was given away for free. It's also a tier 6, which means the amount of credits you will get is nada. And also the Type 64 is also a tier 6, which means they're only really for fun and they are sometimes given away in free events. I mean, the Type 64 was also given away in a free event some time ago. So buying these is a very bad idea. However, there is one good thing about this bundle is that is the Times 5s are unlocked and you can use them for any vehicle that you want. However, other than that, not really that worth it unless you want to have two fun little tier 6s to just screw around with because you're not going to make any creds with them anyway. Then we have the Brute Force, that is not a great deal because the Grave Digger is a joke of vehicle, and the Chieftain was once sold for much better prices. You can really see the declining of the Blitz player base having an impact and even more predatory pricing. If you disregard the horrible Coppola on top, it's a good tank that can be worth picking up. However, it costs 6.5k. It used to cost 6k in a good bundle. As always, don't forget to open your free containers because you can get useful things like free XP boosters or combat boosters and then stay away as far as you can from mystery boxes. These are horrible values, there's nothing useful in them and they're just not any good. Same with, with the Charlemagne container, I mean, I don't think I have to tell you that paying over 100 euros for a piece of pixel is, is not a good idea, but here we are. And moving on to the draws, there is a Object 907 draw, which is not worth it because you're overpaying. And it does have tracer shells for some reason now, because making the game more complicated surely helps new players improve their playstyle. However, this vehicle is uh, somewhat questionable because even though the Object 140 is quite horrible as it currently is, it still does hold its own and you're essentially just buying the same vehicle with minor tweaks again. So if you really like the 
Soviet medium tanks that you have in your garage already, the Tech Tree versions. And this can be somewhat of a decent pickup if you're an advanced player. However, overall, I would not recommend getting this vehicle because it's just not different enough and not better enough to pick up. Because remember, Wargaming made the conscious choice to release some vehicles that are better than Tech Tree vehicles, which means only those some vehicles are actually worth buying because otherwise you will either have a vehicle that is equal to or worse than a tech tree vehicle and in that case you're simply getting ripped off so don't get a vehicle that is equal to or worse than a tech tree vehicle and that also goes for the other draw it is a mystery box draw how in the hell have we fallen this far we're now having a gambling draw for gambling crates and the main prize is a gambling certificate. That is appalling. But nothing we have seen so far is as questionable as this. 3,000 gold for a reactions pack. A, a reactions pack, ladies and gentlemen. This is the pinnacle of monetary waste because the only thing... And it, it's also available for 380,000 free XP. The value of these things is less than zero. And I do hope that it gets sold zero times. It unfortunately won't get sold zero times, so we will get, see more of these in the future. Now, the advanced customization options in this game are great if you do like to collect, for example, a lot of camos or avatars or backgrounds or whatever. But the thing is, they're all worthless. And obviously there are always these little special offers that you might or might not get. Like, for example, this time with the Mega Container, which isn't really that mega at all. Because if we have a look at this, the drop chance per vehicle is 0.03%. So there isn't really anything to get here. Most of the time what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with what is all the way down here, hidden at the bottom. You're probably going to end up with about 200 free XP from a container like this. So while it only costs 1 euros 20 and does have 750 gold, if you get something like this, just get it. Get the crates. Just disregard them ideally. But 750 gold for 1 euro, it, it's, it's fine. However, when you get something like this, it's 6.5k for a camouflage. And then there is the Squad of Strangers, which does guarantee a vehicle from each of these containers, because it's a lucky container. However, the problem with these is that you're gonna end up with, let's say, an STG, or an ISU-130, or a T-44-100, when instead you want something like, I don't know, an ML-1951, or a T-54-E2, or maybe even a Chimera. The problem is, if you gamble, you're most likely to lose for the 50,000th time. It's never worth it to buy a new new vehicle because Wargaming chose their release strategy to be that of maximum profit. And in tournament news, you can now get one lockbox gambling key for every 55 minutes you leave your browser window open watching the Blitz Stellar Cup, which will happen at these dates right here. So are, if you are interested in gambling and also marginally interested in World Tanks Blitz tournaments, here you go.